kids. It is great to be back in your house again. Thank you for letting me come and visit you again today. We are going to play a game this morning. So you need to stand up and you need to get ready to do some acting. I'm going to say three different things and I want you to listen to those things and decide which one do you think is the scariest of those things. And then you're going to act out that scary one. If you don't think any of the things are scary at all, you can just stand and shake your head. But otherwise, you must choose the scariest one and act it out. All right, are you ready? Our first one is a dog or a spider or a bunny. Which one do you think is the scariest? All right, next one we're going to do. Which one frightens you the most? Rain or snow or thunder? I wonder which one you acted out. Which one do you think is the scariest? All set for the next one. Which of you, these things do you think is the scariest to eat? Prawns or hot sauce or broccoli? And next one. Which one do you think is the scariest? Boats, cars or aeroplanes? I wonder what things you're choosing. What things do you find the scariest? Are you ready for another one? Do you find it most scary to go swimming or to go to school or to go to sleep? Which one's the most scary for you? And our last one, which one fills you with the most fear? Is it a frog or a crocodile or a fish? Great, I'm sure you did some really super acting at your house. There certainly are a lot of different things that can make us scared. Some other words for scared are afraid or frightened or terrified or fear and we're going to be starting a new theme at Kids Connect today and it's a theme called Fear Busters and Fear Busters is all about what we can do when we're feeling scared, how we can get rid of all of our fears. In a world full of fears. Huh? There is a team on a mission. They are the Fear Busters. Who are you gonna call? Fear Busters. Hi there, I'm Special Agent Jill Stain, Fear Buster Division. My job is to investigate the phenomenon of fear, finding ways to destroy fear and get rid of it forever. Hi there, Agent Jill Stain. I was hoping you could help me. My name is Caleb. Hello, Caleb. Helping's what I do. What seems to be the problem? Well, I have a lot of fears, actually. I have spiders, thunder, teachers, snakes, the dark, lightning, lions, spicy food, mice, mosquitoes, false cars, doctors, hailstorms, loud music, sharks, exams, roller skates, roller coasters, Crocodiles, dentists... Oh, okay, okay, Caleb. Stop right there. That certainly is a long list of fears. I want to show you something, Caleb. You see, it's like these fears are twisting around you. Oh. Getting you stuck and trapped in the middle of them. this. It's like you've trapped all these fears around you. Oh no. Doesn't make life very nice being surrounded by all these things that you're frightened of and the list goes on and on and on. How do you feel Caleb? I feel restricted and I can't, I can't breathe or talk. I can't see anything. I need to be free. You see that's the thing with fear. It traps us. It makes us feel like we can't move, like we can't breathe. But Caleb, I've got the answer for 
you. And it's in the big book called the Bible. It says, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me and set me free from all my fears. Now, how does that sound? That sounds wonderful. Let's pray right now. Okay, let's do it. Lord, can you please set me free from all my fears? Oh no, I think it's just break out. I'm <laughs> free. Look at that. Just like the Bible says, when we pray to the Lord, he sets us free from all our fears. Thank you, A.G. Jill. It is such a pleasure, Caleb. We'll see you again. Well, hopefully we won't see you again. Okay, bye. Bye. What a great lesson for all of us. I'm glad that we met Special Agent Jill today. And she taught us that we can bust fear with prayer. God is much stronger than our fears. And when we pray to him, our fears can be destroyed. Stand up, we're gonna sing a song now just about that. song says. We can pray to God when we're feeling scared and he'll answer us and take away our fears. I know in my life that that's happened before. I've felt really scared and then I've prayed about it and my fears have gone away. Now all of us, if we're really honest, have some things that we're scared of. Remember Caleb, he had a really long list of things he was scared of. I wonder what you're scared of. Maybe at the moment you're scared about the coronavirus. Maybe you've heard all sorts of stories and, and grown-ups talking about it and you don't really understand it, but you know that there's people getting sick and when we go out, we've got to wear masks and we've got to get sprayed on our hands with hand sanitizer. And our moms don't really want us to go out and our moms and dads can't decide if we should go back to school or if we should carry on staying at home. And so when we lie in bed at night, we're worried about it all and we're trying to work out how does this all work and what if I get sick or what if my mom gets sick? And so we're feeling lots of fear. And just like we saw with Caleb, all those fears, all that being frightened can really make us feel horrible. It can feel like we just don't want to move. It can feel like we're trapped, that we're stuck, that we're like in prison with all those fears. Now, if you're feeling like that today, I just want to remind you that there's good news. We can pray and God will take away our fears. And so we're going to do that right now. We're going to ask God to take away our fears. Let's close our eyes and let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that when we pray to you, you answer 
and free us from all our fears. And so, Lord, right now, we want to tell you that we're frightened about some things. And we want to ask you, Lord, to please help us to stop being frightened, to please take away all of those things that are making us scared. We thank you, Lord, that you are much more powerful than anything else in the whole world. And we don't have to be afraid. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus taught his disciples all about praying. He wanted them to know that when we ask God for something, he'll give us good things that we've asked for. And he told his disciples a story. He told them to imagine that a boy went to his dad and said, Dad, can I have a fish? Now we know that no dad would then say to his son, here's a snake instead. Or he said, imagine a boy goes to his dad and says, Dad, can I have an egg? No father would say, here's a scorpion instead. And God's just the same. In fact, God's an even better father than that. When we ask God, he gives us good things. And being freed from our fears is definitely a good thing. And so we can ask God and know that he'll give us that freedom. And so this week at home, when you start to feel a bit frightened about something, pray to God and he'll answer you and set you free from that fear. We're going to do a little craft just now to help us remember about for, about praying when we've got a fear. So join us again in a moment. Don't go anywhere. And we're back. We're going to be making this cute little guy today so that we can put him in our room and he'll remind us that whenever we're feeling scared, we can pray to God because prayer is a fear buster. I hope that you've collected a pack for the crafts from your church. If you haven't, you'll need to find a few bits around your house. Polystyrene cup, some wool that's tied together in the middle, some googly eyes, a pipe cleaner, some little hands that you can cut out, and then you'll need some glue and some tape and a coat. All right, we're gonna start off by putting a big blob of glue on the top of our cup and sticking his hair on. So lots and lots of glue. And let's press the hair on in the middle. Spread it out a bit so it looks a bit crazy. Something like that. And then I'm going to put some glue on my googly eyes. And stick them on the front of this little eye. Quite near to the top, something like that. Bit of glue on the other eye. Stick it on like that. And then I'm going to give him a nice round nose and a nice smiley mouth because that's how he'll be feeling after he's prayed. Right, then the next thing I need to do is take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to need to push it through the guy quite near to the bottom. So you just need to gently give it a push. It shouldn't be too hard to get it through the cup. And then just check inside that it's going in a straight line like that and push it out the other side right so then you get it pushing out the other side and then you need to pull those bits so that they're oh, in the middle so that you've got about the same length of bits out of each side now these are going to be this little fellow's arms so you need to pull them around the front so that they're touching like that and the easiest way is if we actually take the little end bits and twist them together so that they're stuck together a little bit like hands that are praying, something like that in front of him. Then you're going to use some tape to stick these little hands on. So we're going to put some tape to hold on the one bit, stick it on nicely, bend the tape back around and stick on the other bit. If your mom or dad's got a stapler, it's not a bad idea to do a staple on these. I'm going to just add a little bit more tape at the back so they're not coming apart. So that his hands aren't joined together. That's like it's praying like that. And now we've got another little praying guy to help you to remember that we can bust fear with prayer. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next Sunday morning. Bye!